Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Batman! And I'm coming at you with a new game in our ongoing series of Let's Play with Batman! And today, we're doing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Um, this is like the definitive edition of Dark Souls 2. And, uh, holy shit, that was loud. Uh... Let me turn that down. Okay. And this comes with all the DLC. It comes with a resolution bump over the 360 version or PS3 version, whatever platform you're on. Um, it's 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, which is frame rate and resolution bump and all the DLC included. And it's like remixed map, uh, enemy placement, and all that good stuff. So I'm pretty excited because I sank hundreds and hundreds of hours to Dark Souls 2. It's one of the top 10 favorite, I'd say top 10 favorite games of all time, but so is Dark Souls. Well, I'm a big Dark Souls fan. Um, I never got to play Demon Souls because I don't own PlayStation systems. Um, I'm missing out on Bloodborne, which is unfortunate, but uh, I still love this series. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I am not a very, I'll start this out by saying I am not a very calm gamer. I rage hard. So you would think a game like this would not be up my alley, but it is so rewarding. Yes, I rage. Yes, you know, I get pissed at this game. Yes, I want to kill something after playing this game. But at the same time, it's so rewarding, and it, I, I love it. It's awesome. All right, so we're going to start a new game. I've already played a little bit of this, but just to get a feel for it, get back in the groove of things, so I'm not going in blind with you guys. You've seen it. Maybe in a dream. But, um... Oh, shit, I don't know why I skipped that, guys. It's just a cool little cutscene in the beginning. Story-wise, you really have to read the lore and the items and uh, there's not many cutscenes in Dark Souls, actually. I think I won at the beginning and won at the end. But, um, you can tell, like, right away when you're playing this game, it is almost on par with the PC version. Like, that's, that's how much of a difference it is, uh, this version, I should say. Here you can hear the rustling, the constant rustle of the the ruckus I make when I'm running through the grass here. I like to go this way. Because then I know there's a little item over here, even though it's... I believe rusted coins are useless. I can't remember what I... I thought it, maybe I did have a use for them later on. I don't know. Right here to the good old ladies' houses. Maybe do I do I want to drop down here? I forgot my first time playing, guys. I like try to roll down there, and I got denied by that tree right there, which uh, wasn't very happy about. You know, it's not even combat that usually kills me in Dark Souls. Yes, I do die in combat. Everybody does. But it's more of me falling or doing something dumb as fuck. Which I respect. I respect this game for that. Making me look like an idiot. Because I don't think I'm that stupid of a person, but... <laughs> Dark Souls does that to me. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're finished. Mm. You go home. Yes. You become one of them. Follows prey upon them. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the curse. 
What's my name, guys? What's my name? Usually in Dark Souls fashion, I call my characters fuckface, but um, I already have two fuckfaces in Dark Souls 2, so we're just gonna go classic. Batman! Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Oh, man. They ain't gonna let us do the exclamation. We'll just do regular. Good old Pat, man. You know, I want to point something out about this game. This is the cover. Okay? And... Inside, nothing. I mean, of course, it came with the disc, but not even a piece of paper inside, which I found very interesting. Very interesting. Class, we're going swordsman. Dual wielding, badass. You know why? Because I'm a badass and I'm going fists only. Fist straight up the ass on this playthrough. So those backstabs are going to be entertaining. We're going to go life ring. No, 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 no. And we're going to make him a pretty handsome guy. We're going to try to at least. In my opinion of handsome. Maybe you guys have a different uh, opinion of handsome. But I certainly think I have good taste in men, which doesn't sound weird at all. You don't want the too bushy for I, bro. I'd say, I'd say that's about good. Eye color, we're gonna go with my eye color, which is like a hazel. Ooh, those are like, it's not too hazily. Mine are like a brownish green. I guess that's like a brownish green. Be it. Gotta go with the schnazzy. Oh, that's like the conquistador look right there. Oh, that's the conquistador look right there. We'll just go with a little schnazziness, make them... There we go. Tat. Get Epona on her face. Nah, no tat. I don't like any of them. Advanced. Age. Make them real young. Hormones. I don't fucking know any of this. Ish. I don't know what form emphasis means. Color emphasis. Huh. Oh my god, it's Satan his damn self. That's just terrible. Gonna make a little tan. There you go. What? Like that. That's good. Okay, that's just that's just too much for me. I think I think we're done here. No, let's get this nose. This nose is ginormous. There we go. There we go. That's much better. 
All right. Oh, uh, hang on. What's what, what can we do with the beard here? Okay, nothing. That is my true self. Not bad looking guy, right? For what the options they give you. Alright. We're gonna do something very, very evil right off the bat here. And you're asking, why are you so evil, Batman? Why are you doing this? Because they give you effigies. And effigies, super important for co-op. <laughs> and I'm not good enough to beat this game alone. Let's be serious here. And these poor ladies don't even defend us. As I think they laugh. I want to say they laugh when you kill them, which is fucking creepy. <laughs> Told you. Look at that, it's, it's nine right off the bat. <sighs> now, there is... I should mention, before you all do this, if you decide to do this, there is a negative. Um, you won't be able to re-roll your stats, which I'm not too concerned about. Um, I play... I play this game a lot. Or I will play this game a lot. And, um... Uh, if I want to re-roll my stats, I'll probably just end up making a new character anyways, to be honest. TBH. And I think there's another effigy up here. Damn straight there is. Now, if you choose Swordsman too, like I did, uh, you get more uh, stamina right off the bat. Which, excuse me, oh, which I believe is the most important, the most important attribute. And Dark Souls is your stamina. Yeah, you got your strength and all that. Yeah, that's important. But that stamina bar, man, you do so much with it. So, I'm going stamina off the bat. Stamina, mina. If y'all play COD Zombies, y'all know that's the stamina up. Stamina, mina. So, something just fell off and gave me free souls. Who said Dark Souls was hard? Come on. This game is fucking easy. Let's read these trolley signs. Good luck. I love reading the signs in Dark Souls because I think they're just hilarious with people, uh... People, right? I try to beat the first boss for you guys on this first playthrough. Let's see how well we can do that. And we are in the like hub world right now, the Majula Ablungada. And this is, like I said, the hub world. This is where all the you're safe here. As long as, uh, you're actually, s I want to see, we'll go see. We may not be safe. I think there is one enemy that can kill you. They're like the tankiest sons of bitches you'll ever face in a game. You hit that bad boy and boom! Estus Flash Shard, which allows you to have a second Estus Flag. For each shard you get, it's an extra Estus. Oh, they're a lot less tanky in this game. 
It literally took me like 50 hits on Dark Souls 2, the original version, to kill these things. Run. 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 We are not dying to little pig rats right off the bat. No. No. If you guys haven't played Dark Souls, resting at a bonfire resets all enemies. Uh, that can be a blessing and a curse. Uh. Resetting all enemies, and it also gives you all your health back, and it gives you all your Estus Flask back, which are the main thing you use to heal. Uh, this chick here is the main chick you talk to in the game. Like, if you want to level up your attributes, upgrade your Estus Flask, you have to talk to her. And there it is, the Estus Flask. It's like our potion. Vendrick is like the baddie of the game. Uh, you face him. He's one of the last people you face. He's not like the last guy you face, though. You, you guys will see later. Like a spoiled nothing. <sighs> I can't freaking stop yawning! Let me go, go uh, rest here and then talk to her again. You keep talking to. Sh she takes that shard from us. Pray to her. And, uh. Looks like we're good there. You go up here, you join this covenant. Let's see how many people. This tells you how many people that. 4.413. <gasps> or 4.4 million deaths. Already. I just played like two days ago. It was at one point like six. So there's been a lot of deaths. I'm excited. Well, this guy just, just he talks a lot. So he'll eventually ask you to join a covenant. You want to join that covenant because it gives you a ring that actually gives you slightly more hit points. So and you get achievement out of it once you get to that prompt to yes or no to join. If you guys are looking for an achievement. So we'll go here, and if you choose the life ring, it remember to put it on uh, at the beginning there. These both increase my hit points. Look, you see that little teeny smidgen of a bar? Hey, you never know. That could that might help us save our lives one day. So, the rest of there, you rest there, I should say, and you get that full health. Now, see, notice that I am a human being right now. Uh, when you're not human, when you die in Dark Souls 2, you turn into a hollow, an undead. And every time you freaking die, you lose a, more of your health bar that you can't get back unless you turn human again and rest at the bonfire. So they start taking away your health bar. It gets pretty messed up. I don't know how somebody died here, but there's a blood. Can we see? Usually when you touch the blood stain, it'll show a ghost of how this person died. I don't know. Liar ahead. Try behind. Huh. Let's try to make it to the next bonfire without dying. That that would be that would be nice. All the fucking. Let's watch how this guy died. <laughs> A lot of people make that mistake. Uh, you have to jump there off the rock. Whoop! <laughs> Everybody's doing the same thing. No? I don't know why some of these blood stains aren't working. It's depressing
over the chest before we make the jump. Effigy, nice. Make that jump. There we go. We're off to a good start. And they, this is another uh, proof of the remixed. Is he coming straight for me? Oh my god, I've been so scared. More of the remixed enemies, because this guy was never there. And these guys are hard. They can one-shot kill you. So you want to kind of avoid this guy. Right off the bat here. We'll take out these littler guys, like... Like this asshole. Whoop! Bonfire. Well, this isn't the bonfire I was talking about when I said I didn't want to die. I meant the one after this. So we're going to light this bad boy. Matter of fact, we're going to rest at it to get our health back. No, 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 we don't want to travel. But then the enemies I just killed will come back as per usual. Hiya! I'm a conquistador! Alright. Bandit's knife. Ooh, that might be. Might be worth giving a try here. Bring it. Good moves. And this guy tries to ambush you. Woo! Woo! -hoo! It's close. Off to a good start. Off to a good start here. This is nerve-wracking. Dark Souls really gets the blood pumping, boiling, whatever. Now here's another change to this version. There's just a shitload of guys in here. There used to be these hide, they're called hide white knights. This part is actually arguably easier. Whoa. This part's arguably easier because that high knight. Now the thing is, the high knight he'd just be chilling. You're sitting like, uh, I'm chilling, and he wouldn't attack you unless you fucked with him. But me, I always had to mess with him. So, and I would get my ass whipped, and I get angry, and I would want to get revenge, just like in any game, just like a Call of Duty a guy kills me all over. I don't care if he's camping. I'm going back there every single time until I kill him. Care how many times I die, that guy will die at my hand. And he'll probably get teabagged. Watch out for this guy up there. And you. Get wrecked. Careful. Alright, we gotta start using the left sword a little bit more here. Am I in danger? Shouldn't be in any immediate danger. Bandit's knife. I'll use that bad boy. Let's see how this works for us. Range on it's gonna be terrible, but... Woo! It's fast as hell, though. That's a good combo, actually. I like that. Because you could get that, sneak that hit in on there to stun lock him. And then uh, finish him off with the powerful attacks. 
No! I didn't know about you. Who invited you to this party? Because I sure didn't! Woo! You like those moves, don't you? Alright, you just gotta finish this guy off. Okay. No. No, we are not dying here. No! That was extremely close. Start putting shit on our thing here. Drink a little as this because it's the best. This and we'll march up here and whoop this guy's ass just for trying to kill us. So, so. Whoa, what was it? Did I just keep the hell? What it? the hell is down there? Be wary of ranged battle. Okay. I would love to be an archer in a Dark Souls game. It just sucks because the... What's it called? A so bad archery. And this guy tries to get you. Ooh, that backstab, though. Hang on. Okay. This is a little bit tempting. Do we go for it, guys? Yes, we do. <laughs> I've never seen this up here. Throwing knife and a soul of a... Oh, ten throwing knives. I think that was worth it. It was worth it just to make the jump. I just wanted to say, hey, look. I made that jump. I don't remember an item being there. Maybe I just never looked... But there's an item up here. I don't remember what it's. Actually, I think there's two items up here. We gotta kill this jerk of a guy first. Well, first, let's grab it, this item. Instead of dropping down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this no dying streak alive. Oh, you trying to... I'm not gonna lie, he almost got us there. Whee! Short sword, okay, that's good. Alright, we are running out of Estes here. So we need to be extra cautious in this next room. Because it's actually pretty hard. Kinda. So I got a short sword, huh? Same damn sword. Oh, shoot. Short sword plus one? Foot soldier sword. Actually, that's... Arguably better. Let's try this foot soldier Let's try this bad boy out. Need more freaking people I need to know about being alive here. Let's put our life gems on. Those are our other healing items, but they don't heal you as quickly as SS Fest. They actually take a really long time. They're best to use when you're not in combat and you can just stand around and mess around here. Now, there's three guys in here. They try to get you. They also try to get you this son of a bitch right there. Come on over, come on over, baby. Oh, this guy's pissed. I try to lure them out one at a time. Which is a very good strategy. 
And Dark Souls. You gotta do your jump attack there. Stay away from that guy. He's pissed. Alright, so far so good. Backstep, backstep, backstep. Okay! Oh, yes! No, no, no! I refuse. And then there's this asshole right here. We'll just straight up shit on him. Wood bolt. Okay. <laughs> I try to get you a lot of stuff. Oh god. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're not dying here. Can I sneak up on him? What kind of hit was that? I'm scared. Marty, I'm scared. If you guys watch Spongebob. Marty? Janet? Who are you people? Woo! Now you die! Woo! Those guys, I don't know why, I always have trouble with those assholes. Oh yeah. You look, look like you died a happy person. Alright, you gotta be careful of this guy. He's a tricky little bastard. We are right at the bonfire, guys. All we gotta do is make it through this. Okay. That's not good. There's an item back there, but we're not even going to try to get that. It's not even worth. Now you have to watch out for this asshole right over here, too. There he is. He's tricky, son of a bitch. Alright. We made it! We did it! Until some act of God just tells you. I swear to God, in Dark Souls, it's just some act of God that says you must die so and so amount of times. Because random bullshit will happen that's just not supposed to happen to kill you. Right, we got our bonfire. Got our Estuses back. We're feeling good about our lives. There's a little merchant here. We're gonna buy the. I'm gonna buy these from her eventually, but not yet. Because those are gonna be our main weapons in this game. We're gonna buy this key from her though. Because that key is for the blacksmith in Majula, Amblungada. Now, there is durability in this game. If you don't break the weapon, the durability will automatically reset the bonfire, which is nice. But see, uh, this one right there, um, that's broken. Now I have to pay to repair that if I wanted to get it repaired, which I'm not going to because it is not worth. So we have 110, 65, and 121. Put a one of those there all right we should be good here are white soapstone size which are people you could actually summon to help you uh it's fun it's good co-op is awesome in this and 
hair, you just wanna bust open the door. Kill this son of a bitch. If he doesn't get a fuck. You don't wanna let him get away like that. That was terrible. Not good, not good at all. You know, out of all the classes, this is like my favorite armor right off the bat. This is actually not bad looking stuff right here. It's a little raggedy. A little raggedy. There, we got some repair powder. That's actually good. A little raggedy, but I could, I could roll with this. All the other ones, though, you start out looking like a straight dweeb. These guys try to get you. Are my people that I summon coming or what? Nah, we got our small white soapstone so that we can help people out. The difference between the small one and the regular size one, the small one you only like are in there for a few minutes. You can only play co-op for a few minutes. I think the white one, you stay in until uh until the mission is complete. Alright, well obviously people do not want to get summoned. Here comes Mr. Asshole. Come on over. Why nobody wants to help me? Why? I don't know how we lost health, but We'll rest here at the bonfire. Can somebody come help me, please? Alright, we'll screw it. We'll try to make it on our own, then. We don't need people, right? We actually do. Don't like playing alone. third hit and then we're good all right there we go this is how you do it actually let's go over here real quick fuck this guy up right <laughs> I love the sounds these guys make when you kill them. They're just throwing up all over them. So you die next. Oh god. Oh, this whole time. Woo! Bye bye. We're gonna, I'm going to show you guys a little pro tip. You want to roll there. No, you don't want to do that. No. <sighs> and they're still shooting arrows at me. I didn't want to die. Uh, you gotta try to get this, uh, this key over here, which we're still gonna try to get, but, uh, very disappointed, very disappointed in myself. We're gonna use an effigy and try to get a motherfucker to come over here and help us. See how we instantly turn human there? Of course, summoning failed. Summoning failed. Those people are just getting summoned too quickly. Finally, we got him. Alright, we needed that Titanite shard. Whenever you see those little uh, guys, kill them. 
they uh, dropped some good stuff for blacksmithing and forging weapons, upgrading weapons, all that good stuff. Now here is the secret. This is a secret um, way of... It's a shortcut. But uh, we gotta get to the other side before we do that. Hey, we got one soul right now, guys. How about that? Come on. Come on! Just want somebody to help me. Is that too much to ask for, guys? I guess so. Alright. We're gonna run. We're just gonna run, 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 run. Hopefully we don't die and lose our souls. So when you die in Dark Souls, you have to go back and recover your souls if you want. Oh god. There you go. Oh god, that was... Backstab. We're running. We're running. That's right. We're running. You want to come over here and stop I'm right up here. Because that guy or that boulder there will F you up. And then you want to come up here and talk to this talkative son of a bitch. He's a cartographer. He's talking about making maps and he He's found his map in this cas uh, big mansion that's in Majula. And um, he thinks it's of Drang Lake, which is the land we're in now. And he's like, oh, that's really curious, blah, 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 blah. Basically, every time like you beat a boss, like it shows up on the map like a flame or something. It's, it's very, uh, it's nothing very important. Alright, you don't want to fall that guy on his way down, that's for sure. Alright, and let's see here. To be honest, we gotta go up and around here. I may just grab this. I know there's a new Estus flash shard, it wasn't there in the original version of Dark Souls 2. There's a new Estus flash shard to give us three Estuses, which is actually probably going to be pretty helpful. Let's not let this guy kill us. Please and thank you. Alright, so we're going to run up here and try to survive. There's a big asshole up here as well. You want to roll through all these fucking barrels. Because I learned the hard way. This guy smacked me into barrels once. And, uh... I got exploded. Right off the map. I got greedy. Don't get greedy in Dark Souls. They will punish you for it. You gotta take it one hit at a time. Alright. Now, up here. Actually, let's try to get... He's gone. He gone! We gotta try to get this guy to explode these barrels over here. First, getting this guy to. What? That ain't. Wow. Really thought that would do it. 
Throw a long one. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. He's gonna fucking kill me here. God damn it, guy. Fucking stop throwing like a girl. Oh my god. Sometimes you just. Let's see. Do we have any? Sometimes you just gotta do things yourself, guys. And we don't have any. Great. Alright, we're gonna try to run up here real quick. We do not want to face this guy right now. Okay. Now we get the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, 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 okay. He, I don't think he can come down here. Okay. He's gone for now, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go! There's the shortcut. We're gonna fucking die, so let's get back to this bonfire. Rest, 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 rest. And we're good. We are good. Travel to Majula real quick. Get that extra, uh, extra Estus Flask shard, and we'll get to the boss. I was scared there. I'm sorry for screaming like a little girl, but the that's the pursuer, and you do not want to face alone. You don't want to face him alone there. If I had a partner, all for it. Let's go. Is that a fear to see light? However, all right. So upgrade Estus. Yes. All right. We now have three of these, and while we are here, let's level up. So we'll do a little bit of endurance, a little bit of strength, and that should be it. While we're at it, we'll open up this gate for this guy. Alright, so when we come back, he will be ready to help us upgrade our weapons, all that good stuff. I like having the mic right here, guys. I got one of those mic stands, like the scissor arm ones. I like this thing. I like having it, you know, up suspended in the air. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the studio recording right now. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on! Can a guy get a little help? Ooh, I think we got somebody. This is exciting. Hopefully he can help us get our white soapstone sign and that we could uh, be on our way to the boss. Um, it's a good way to get a lot of, uh, what's it called? Uh, souls. Just, uh, get your soap soul sign and just help people out. I don't know if this guy is... But why wouldn't it let me fuck you? Well, that guy left us. He returned to his world. He didn't like us, so... That's not good. I just want some hail. He's probably trying to play with a friend or something. Flak jacket. Come on. Signs out here. Nothing, huh? Oh, it's that guy again. I don't know why I do it. Come on, Leroy. Come help me. Hmm. 
There he is. Hi, Leroy. Help Leroy out here. Backstab this son of a bitch. And ladders are for pussies. Alright, and now here. It's a trap. Those guys just got wrecked. We're waiting for these guys to come on out. Backside that guy. This is so much easier when you have somebody to distract all of them. Whoop! And you are getting owned right now, Leroy. I will save you. Great solar, okay. We don't have to go down there yet. I don't think I need anything. There's a chest down there, but I want Leroy's help with these guys real quick. This is mild-mannered Pete. Okay, uh, you want to go in here? This is how we get your white, your regular white soapstone sign. Leroy is gone. He was absolutely no help whatsoever. And thank you, Leroy. Thank you, Leroy! I want to send Leroy a message to tell him how bad he is. But I will refrain. I'll be a good Samaritan, and I will bite my tongue for once on Xbox, because I am the biggest Xbox thug. I love talking shit. Fucking Leroy. Dark Halo, that's what I'm talking about. No. Nope. Love seeing Halo gamer tags on a game like this. Makes me happy. I'm not the only Halo fan that likes a little different. A little difference in his games, you know, a little little uh what's it called? Diversity. Got our soapstone sign. Now let's go get our flipping souls. We're hurrying up here. Well, maybe we could surprise these guys. Let's see. They all just
Alright, run. Run for your fucking life. Let's try to single file these motherfuckers. somewhere around here there we go we straight up owned those guys this time it was easy there it is you hope you push a near certain walls and they'll be illusionary some you can break with your uh, weapons as well uh, just little secrets in Dark Souls that you gotta appreciate. And we got our souls back. That's the most important thing. So, what we're gonna do next, and look at this guy. Having a good time doing the limbo. Uh, what we're gonna do next is opening up another shortcut. Yet another shortcut. For ourselves just to make our lives a little bit easier and what that is is straight over here we gotta fight a few guys over here You could totally fail at that, like me. Right, run up here. Drink. I'll fucking roll real quick. Once we open up this um, shortcut, we'll be able to go to the boss right from the bonfire, which is nice. Come on over, buddy. Alright. We're gonna go fight this fuck real quick. Just for the shits and googles. Stamina back. Got him, coach. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we open up the shortcut and we're Gucci Man La Flair. We're 12 months pregnant, but we still don't care. So, come over here. You open door. Like so, and boom. Do we dare face the boss right now? If I get this guy to summon... No. We're gonna go save at the bonfire, then come back. And go right down to the boss. And then we'll end the let's play on a high note by killing the first boss. Right? So we're gonna murder him. Any guys down here? No, I don't think so. Alright, so you come down. You go through your little shortcut. You hit the switch. You go down before this guy can get to you. Bye-bye! It's a nice little elevator ride. little elevator music next time would be nice. You kill this asshole. 
and hopefully summon some damn people here. There's Mild Mannered Pate, that's an NPC. Ah, shit, and I just summoned a, two NPCs like an idiot. Well, do we dare go into a boss battle with just NPCs? I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that, guys. I mean, I am Dark Souls Pro, but... If I was real Dark Souls Pro, I'd go in. So let's do it. And here is Mr. Asshole Face. Not too bad for first boss. He can be sneaky and get you, though. He's got some strong attacks. He'll kill you about two hits. And he's pissed. So hopefully we don't die here. I'd like to end this on a good note. Watch out for that foot stomp, Mr. Mild Manor Pate. If I was a mage, it'd be so much easier if I had a mage with me. Get wrecked. All right, we're doing good so far. Whoa, God, get out the way. No, no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess it worked. Now he has even more range. Look at this. Whoop. I have to be careful. I don't have a shield. Fuck me. Alright. Just kill him. Let's just kill him. Got him! Got him, coach! Woo! Woo! Let's take a bow. Take a damn bow. There we go. And that is it, guys. That is the first boss in Dark Souls 2. All that playthrough. We worked towards that, and we got victory achieved. We feel good about ourselves. I forgot what it said in Dark Souls 1 when you beat a boss, but it, it said something stupid that didn't even make sense. So, I'm glad they changed that. And, uh... If you guys enjoyed this playthrough and want to see some more uh, Let's Plays, reviews, unboxings, podcasts, we do gaming news, we do it all at Triforce Gaming Network. Uh, stay tuned for more. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see all those things. Of course, I'll be continuing this Let's Play. I also put up a Zelda Twilight Princess Let's Play if you guys are interested in some Zelda. Zelda is my favorite series of all time along with Halo, so enjoy that. Uh, enjoy this. Enjoy your day. Thank you guys for watching me, and until next time, Pat Man out.